In this video, I'd like to talk about what I consider the three great protocols for supporting the circulation of the body. That would be chelation, cyclodextrins, and deoxycholate. Chelation with a calcium-free chelator can support the body both in removing the calcium in the arteries as well as the toxic metals that cause the uh, lipids in the arteries to hydrogenate. Uh, there is a technique by which cheap oils are uh, interfaced with nickel and hydrogen, both of which are metals. Indeed, hydrogen is a metal, even though it's in a gas form. And what they do is they turn the oil into a solid. And this is actually how Crisco is made. Uh, so when we have metals in our body, it can turn the healthy lipids and fats in our, our, in our arteries into Crisco. And that's a challenge. So uh, that's why it's really important to have some kind of chelator uh, in your protocol if you're dealing with circulatory issues. Uh, one, you want to remove the metals that are causing the fats to uh, hydrogenate, and two, uh, you want to use a calcium-free chelator so that you can remove calcium that is showing up in the arteries themselves. The second protocol that I like to use with circulatory issues would be cyclodextrins. Uh, cyclodextrins can massively increase the solubility of lipids, and we have a whole video, actually, I think about perhaps two of them on our website and the videos page that talks specifically about cyclodextrins. Uh, cyclodextrins also solubilize the toxic folded proteins in the brain, which are the cause of most neurologic problems. But for our purposes in circulation, we're talking about it's their ability to uh, have toxic fats and cholesterols become water soluble so they can be urinated out. Uh, for more information on cyclodextrins, you might want to take a look at our albidextrin cyclodextrin product. And this brings us to deoxycholate, commonly known as bile. In a healthy body, a small amount of deoxycholate gets into the bloodstream. And it is the natural detergent that, makes, that our liver makes to solubilize fat in the diet so we can absorb fats better. Uh, it does the same thing in the bloodstream. It can solubilize fat in the arteries. So... How do we get deoxycholate into the bloodstream? Well, if we're healthy, small amounts are always going in. But if we have a compromised hepatobiliary system, then we may not be getting the deoxycholate into our bloodstream or not in the amounts that we need. So one of the things we can do is we can take in deoxycholate. Now, uh, most people know about taking deoxycholate orally as bile salts, and that's great for the digestion, but it's not getting to the location we need. We want it in the bloodstream. Well, for the last 80 years, um, doctors have been injecting deoxycholate as an IV uh, into the bloodstream. It started with the Germans. They would mix deoxycholated and phosphatidylcholine into the bloodstream to clean things out. Uh, well, that's not the kind of thing you can do at home. And since one of the things I want to do is empower you to take control over your own healing, uh, we have made a deoxycholate liposome, and the product is called colophage. And when you take a liposome, that bypasses the digestion and goes right into the bloodstream. So this is yet another way in which you can support your circulation is by taking liposomal deoxycholate. Now, why would we need to do both deoxycholate and cyclodextrins? Well, cyclodextrins work primarily inside the cells, they're intracellular, and deoxycholate works primarily outside the cells or along the membranes. So taking both works both at the membrane level and the intracellular level. So if you want to support your circulation, consider a protocol that would contain metacardium, albidextrin, and our liposomal deoxycholate product, colophage.